Good morning and welcome to Wit AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Jason Moeller. Another huge winter storm is moving in behind the one that's already buried about half the country in snow and ice. The National Weather Service says the storm will blast parts of the South and Midwest today before hammering the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast on Thursday. Forecasters say 115 million Americans from Texas to Massachusetts are in the storm's path. Weather systems moving from coast to coast have killed at least 20 people this week. Siouxland District Health announced new information surrounding Woodbury County's next vaccination clinic on Wednesday, February 24th. Appointments open tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. You can get an appointment either online or by phone. Those eligible to receive the vaccine are in phases 1A and 1B. This includes people 65 or older, teachers, school staff, as well as child care and health care workers. Today is Ash Wednesday, and because of the pandemic, it will be very different from any before. The Vatican is asking priests to forego the traditional practices of individual blessings and a smudge of ash on each congregant's forehead. To protect against spreading the virus, church leaders are offering virtual or drive through services and handing out do-it-yourself ash kits and baggies of ash with instructions and a prayer to bless them. Congregants can also have the priest place a smudge of ash on the back of the hand or sprinkle it on top of the head. A fifth person associated with the city of Armstrong has been arrested in connection with a long-term investigation of alleged misconduct. Former city clerk Mary Kate Stanton was charged Monday with one count each of third-degree theft and tampering with records stemming from a multi-year investigation by the Emmett County Sheriff's Office in Division of Criminal Investigation after discrepancies were allegedly found during a routine annual audit of city records. She turned herself in at the Emma County Courthouse on Tuesday. Police Chief Craig Merrill was taken into custody in Minnesota. Mayor Greg Bum, City Clerk Tracy Lang, and former City Clerk Connie Thackeray were all arrested on Friday. When we come back, Tyler will take a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. I work out every day. COVID won't kill me. I'm 24. COVID won't kill me. I have antibodies. COVID won't kill it's me. It's been a long week. COVID won't kill me. I'm 25. COVID won't kill me. I'm partying outside. COVID won't kill me. I don't me. need to wear a mask around my friends. COVID won't kill I'm me. I'm 23. COVID won't kill me. If I haven't gotten it yet, COVID won't kill me. I'm young. COVID won't kill me. Famous last words. Don't let them be yours. Socially distance. Mask up, America. Myth. Yeah. If you get COVID-19, you'll recover after a few days. That myth is false. We're only just beginning to understand the effects of COVID-19 on the human body. As we're starting to see more and more people identifying as long haulers who are having symptoms for weeks, if not months, after their initial infection. Continue to wear a mask, socially distance, and wash your hands. Together, we can keep COVID out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Rachel Lindsay is point, pointing out instances of implicit racism within the Bachelor franchise after an interview with longtime host Chris Harrison. Lindsay, the first black Bachelorette, spoke with Harrison about recently resurfaced photos of Rachel Kirk Canal attending an anti-bellum themed party in 2018. Harrison said people should be should should show Kirk Canal a little grace among other comments that that Lindsay says are evidence of implicit racism within the franchise. She says Harrison's uncon unconsistent, unconsistent bias came out during the interview. Harrison has since issued an apology and has announced he is stepping away from the franchise for some time. McDonald's is looking to stand out with the launch of its new fried chicken uh, sandwich alongside a limited edition hoodie and music. 
The fast food com company will sell a limited supply of swag packages for $5 on Thursday ahead of the release of its crispy chicken sandwich. The packages will be sold on a special website and include a hoodie, a custom song, and gift card that can be redeemed for the sandwich a day earlier than the official launch. Three, three versions of the sandwich will be on sale next Wednesday. Let's take a look at the weather for, for today and tomorrow. Well, look at, looking outside, you can clear, clearly see some snow falling right, right, now, right now. That should continue until around 10 a.m., but that, but that snow is going to stick around on the ground, and you're going to want to watch out for some of that slush conditions on the road. Other than that, we're going to have a cloudy day with a high near 13. Those clouds are going to stick around into the night, but that temperature is going to drop like a sack of potatoes down to negative 3, so bundle up there. Don't don't worry, folks. We have we have a sunny skies ahead ahead tomorrow, along with a high of around 16 degrees. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check check up on the latest Wit TV program at your, at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy your day.